Moored in the Grand Union Canal, outside a pub named the Crystal Palace, is a trip boat waiting for a booked party. Arcturus was converted from a cargo-carrying narrowboat. Passing beneath Lower King's Road, we enter lock number 53. Locks on the Grand Union's main line at just over 14 feet wide can hold two narrow boats side by side. Since leaving the Thames at Brentford, this canal has been climbing lock by lock, in places close together in flights, but in flatter areas the pounds between locks may reach a mile or more. These are North Church locks. Above lock 50, water is pumped into the canal from a borehole deep underground. The so-called West Coast Main Line from Euston aims for the same low area of the Chiltern Hills as the canal. Brian, who's steering, lived near Guildford. He had previously operated his boat Arcturus on the River Way at Guildford. This, cow roast lock number 46, is the top of the climb. A marina has since been constructed beside the canal here. We are now on the Summit Pound. It's a little over three miles long. It's said that the canal here is as high as the cross on the top of London St Paul's Cathedral.
Arcturus is mooring to pick up the rest of the book party who have a short walk from Tring railway station. Just beyond Bridge 133 is Bullbourne Workshops, where replacement lock gates are made. Under a protective cover is Canal Management's inspection launch. A little further on to our right is a covered dry dock for boat repairs. Opposite is the start of the Wendover Arm. It's in water only a short distance to another pumped feeder supplying water to the summit pound. We now descend a flight of seven widely spaced locks. The canal snakes round past two reservoirs. Arcturus moors near the White Lion at Marsworth. Most passengers disembark for lunch. Soon after the restart, we reach Marsworth Junction. Here were made the concrete piles which, at this time, were, were driven in to eroding canal banks as protection. We turn left into the Aylesbury Arm, which has narrow locks only just over seven feet wide. The first two locks form a staircase, 
in which the bottom gate of the upper lock also forms the top gate of the lower lock. There's a problem as we descend in the lower lock. The side wall must have a leak into the ground behind. Once the lock water level is below the leak, the escaped water returns, threatening to flood the boat. Six and a quarter miles of this branch canal descends by 16 locks. There's a special ice-breaking bow on this maintenance boat. We arrive in the canal's terminal basin and the passengers disembark for a short walk to Aylesbury Railway Station.